Hi everyone, today we're going to be assembling the new BTR60 plastic kit that's being released for Red Thunder. First up we'll start by gluing the upper hull and lower hull pieces together. These two pieces should positively lock together so if you just run a bead of glue just along the surfaces you should be able to glue the top and the bottom straight together. Now the BTR60 was originally designed as a lower cost alternative to the BMP. Not mounting the uh, cannon system or anti-tank guided missile made it a lot cheaper to produce. It allowed them to make a large number of carriers for a lot less cost. After gluing the top hull and the bottom hull together, the next piece to attach is the rear hull piece. This has a couple of clamshell covers that go over the water propulsion jets that help the uh, BTR move through the water. This should positively locate on the hull, making it easy to attach. After attaching the rear hull, I like to glue in the commander's hatch. Now you can choose to glue this in open or shut. Uh, today I'll be gluing it shut. Next up we'll attach the wheels. Being very aware that if you're going to be using BTRs, you might have five, 10, 20, or even more of them, the designer was careful to make sure that it was easy to attach the wheels. They come in sets of four, so all you need to do is glue in the left-hand set and then the right-hand set. These are keyed so that they'll only go on the correct side. If you just run a bead of glue down the seam and then attach the, the wheel mounting points, it'll glue together nice and quick. No need to glue on 160 individual wheels here. Last but not least for the lower hull is the little flotation screen or, or breakwater. This goes on the underside of the front hull. You'll notice that it has two little pieces sticking out at the ends. These should be glued facing downward. And on the lower hull there's a couple of locating points just to help you glue it in the right spot. With the hull complete, we'll turn our attention to the turret. The turret is a total of three pieces. You've got the gun, the turret, and then the peg. First thing to do is glue the gun into the turret. If you just put a little bit of glue on the back wall and a little bit of glue on the bottom, the, the uh, machine gun will just fit in there nicely. Last but not least, a drop of glue in the middle of the well and you can put your turret pin in. Now 
There we have it, the completed BTR60. Thanks for watching. Yeah!